So yeah, if you come by Hive 4A, <clears throat> there's two doors you can come in. There's the door on the right there, and there is a door down there. We're going to go in through the garage door. That's quickest and easiest. Right up here is the doorbell. Our doorbell, you probably can't hear it, but it plays various geeky themes. Thanks, Alex. So we made it inside all right, and let's check it out. There's our little cafe, and inside this guy is the doorbell. See, we've taken the speaker apart. It actually houses some of this stuff. This is the, ah, the song's too long. Turn it off thing, and volume control. Uh, we have snacks available if you hang out with us. A uh, bunch of old CRT monitors, stuff we're taking apart. A couple of computers for the OpenStack project. Uh, along here, we'll see, there's the beer chiller project. No beer needing chilling right now, so it's not on, but it's an old dehumidifier. Down into there, drop some beer in there, turn it on, and it'll be cold quickly enough. Uh, table saw and air compressor we're working on. Here's an air compressor that's up and running. And some saws. This is laser cooler and power or something like that. And crosscut saw we're getting painted up. Um, bike wrench and bench. And here's Andy. He does some woodworking in the space. He's got all his tools kicking around here. And over here is our spare parts. There we've torn apart a bunch of computers and printers. That's some of the plastic that we haven't tossed out yet. And lots and lots of bits. We've pulled out of them fans and screws and gears. I don't even know what the marbles are about. Uh, so we're working on organizing that stuff. There are more parts. Some capacitors and a little bit of everything in there. Transistors. There's the CRTs for a widescreen TV. Uh, power supplies. Lots of fun to be had with those. Provide power for lots of different projects. Uh, box full of all sorts of interesting little LEDs. And over there is a project to make a projector. Motors. All sorts of stuff we're storing until we find a good project to play with. Uh, box of bars from printers. Here's one of our hacks. One of our first hacks was small part storage. I uh, made them out of trash. Just basically uh, sweet tea jars and cardboard. Tom did a great job on that. And we got PCBs that have lots of different components. You want buttons? We got a board full of buttons. And you got all sorts of other components to play with. This is our to be disassembled pile, and there's a few other things kicking around uh, that might be useful and fun. There. And let's wander on down this way. Over here is a bench full of monitors and computers, computer parts, and right here in front of us, this is the beginnings of our OpenStack project. We're going to try to build an Amazon S3 type service, and the bench where guys have stuff set up they're working on, uh, whether that be Blender or just checking out, making sure things are working. Nice good printer. And of course we've got the printer here in the corner. And there's a PCB, which I'll show you what that's all about in a bit. We have lockers for our members, so here are some of them. Uh, here is laser stuff. Uh, here we've got an ion laser and some related things. Distilled water to uh, keep it cool. Lots of fun with that. And here is a PCB uh, bench where we've got different things that we're using to work on making our own 
uh, printed circuit boards. Uh, this here has a bunch of LEDs in the bottom. Those are ultraviolet LEDs, and when hooked up, they irradiate ultraviolet. And then we have an etchant tank, some different chemicals related to that, uh, bins of ferric chloride. Uh, I've got this fella here. It's an experiment to try to uh, transfer print, prints on glossy paper onto uh, copper clad board so that we could put toner on there and then etch away everything that wasn't covered in toner. And the transfer requires heat, so we're trying to try to use a uh, toner or a uh, fuser there for that purpose and see if we can transfer it. Other people use uh, irons, so we'll uh, be working on different ways of accomplishing that. Uh, some more of our lockers. Here is a paint booth, which just recently got put together. Um, the idea is this is a pretty dusty environment, so we needed a place to hang stuff to paint and dry while in the dusty environment. So that's that idea. Fan to keep uh, the air in good sh shape. Here's our soldering bench with related tools. Various soldering irons. Um, yeah, there's a power supply that's been hacked to provide some power. Uh, of course, we need good light. And over here is our microprocessor bench. We have some computers hooked up, uh, one with XP and Ubuntu, so we can get different uh, different tools to do microprocessor hacking and make that work. And our stereo uh, that is hacked together from car parts and uh, an old computer case. Lots of fun. Makes good sound. And then over here we have a bench with our drill press, our grinder, and so forth. So let's go head over to the lounge. The lounge is just over here in the corner on the other side of the uh, parts storage. I think I saw Alex in there earlier. He's working on a piece of equipment that is negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit last I knew. This is the only room that we have air conditioning in. And over behind him is the library, our little shelf there. Uh, some other tables to work on. We've got a couch over here. TV is great for Raspberry Pi. The whiteboard, of course. you got to have a whiteboard if you're thinking about stuff. Some fridges for beer. And that's our lounge. So we got humidity, that's the time, and that's the temperature, right? Yep. And back again. All right. Sweet.